Norwich Cole, and joining me on the sofa today are Heather Steele, Winnie Malcolm, and Laura Black. Welcome, ladies. Today we're sharing last minute gifts that will have you covered and what has made us properly laugh this year. Plus, Laura and I have got a fab going out top haul. Well, it's going out, staying in. Uh, plus, we're showing what we're wearing on Christmas Day, and wine expert Alicia Hansel, otherwise known on Instagram as Spilling It, is here to chat us through her top supermarket wine tips. But first, Christmas gifting. I, I'm smiling in anticipation of the bits that are going to make us laugh. I, <laughs> I just keep thinking about yours, Laura, and I can't stop laughing. Anyway, I'll save it. I'll try and save it. Uh, we're going to share next our, we're going to share now, um, our sort of go-tos. I just think it's good to have a, a few things up your sleeve that you always buy. I, I find, especially for children's parties and things, it's like a few bankers I've got. Uh, double and Uno and things like that. Um, so hopefully if you're in a panic like me, who's bought two presents, we might inspire our readers. Uh, who am I going to come to first? I'm going to come to Heather first. Hello. <laughs> so what, do you want me to just talk them through? Talk us through. Yeah. First of all, we've got a sushi roll. So it's basically the Conran shop that do these really nice Christmas decorations, obviously, but they've also got some quite funny, silly ones, one of which is just a little, you know, glass sushi roll, which I think they do tacos as well, blocks of butter, bags of pasta, just this little glass for the baubles tree. for the tree. Oh, yeah. So I just love think, that. yeah, if anyone, you know, got any friends who love food, they've honestly got like bowls of ramen as Christmas decorations. Really? So yeah, there's yeah. something for everyone if you want to kind of... It's quite I feel like you've got to go it's all cute. out there. You can't have sort of one bowl of ramen. <laughs> yeah, you can, well, you kind of you've got a tree like mine, and they're all a little bit random. Yes. But yeah, probably not Build for you. Collection. I wouldn't no, get you I'm one, Georgie. Yeah, I think that would give me like a tip. Or something. <laughs> um, okay, that's your first one, Heather. Then we've got some mittens. Yes, they're really nice. They're by a brand called Elmer, and they're basically really fluffy and brightly coloured. And I think, especially if we're going out for a Boxing Day walk or doing anything like that in January, a nice pair of woolen mittens quite, would do the job. Quite expensive. They are well, quite expensive. Good, but I mean, if you're really screwed and haven't bought someone anyone anyone True. Sometimes yes, things, yeah, it's a lucky it. day. You're just exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to go to one shop and be like, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah. Tick. Okay, I like your next one, Martini glasses. This speaks to me. Yeah, they're um, LSA and they're just so cool. They're almost like 90s, but in a cool way. They're like really thick stemmed with these sort of proper... They're sturdy. actually vodka glasses, so technically right. you should just be putting them in the freezer, putting your pure vodka in and sipping it, but they're really Ooh. cool. Ooh. If you get good Kavka vodka, it doesn't taste of anything. It's delicious. I remember years ago being like, I mean, you just... Who are you if you can't drink neat vodka? And I was like, well, Ooh. not a complete raging alcoholic. <laughs> I mean, I, oh, it's just like... I oh, I don't know. Straight. Yes. Yeah, straight. Yeah, if you cold, get the good so stuff. Nice. Yeah. I thought I was nice. the strong stuff, but not... Yeah. Do you yeah. drink straight vodka? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, if you've got these glasses, you might feel like you should. Quite sophisticated. Sit, no, not yeah. for me. I have a bit of lychee in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, thank you, Heather. Winnie, I'm coming to you next. I'm following the order on my cards. Uh, I love this product. I, I'm talking about the female bust candle. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. Like, it's just the blogger candle, I feel. Yeah. So if you have any, like, bloggery friends or people who love Instagram, it's just like a candle in the shape of a woman's body. It's just so Inspired nice. Inspired by Anise Kamish. Yeah. And they are really expensive. Really expensive. Yeah. Uh, this is 15 quid. I think yeah. this is a great gift. Great dupe. Yeah. And great for the table, yeah. you know. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not um, you, Winnie. <laughs> uh, next, you've got some silicon ice ball moulds. I do. Again, with the drink. I'm not an alcoholic, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, um, it's kind of like whiskey kind of um, ice ball maker. So my housemates, my dad, like, like a little glass of whiskey. You can make an ice cube in the shape of a circle, like a sphere. I know that. Cool. Yeah. yeah, really nice stocking feather, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. quite impressive and, yeah, I love it. Can I tell you a tip on ice? We, my husband bought recently, we have ice that comes out of the fridge, but it's a regular size mm -hmm. ice cube. He bought a silicon ice mould that are bit, I mean, it's like, it's same sort of yeah. size, but it's square. That's what I've got. And he he just puts one of those yeah. in a G&T and, and he's like, so much better because they last, they, they, they don't melt, melt and dilute it. Yeah. yeah. So actually that is a really brilliant, brilliant, whichever you go for, whether you go round yeah. or square, mm. I think that's a really good stocking filler for a man. Yeah, really yeah. nice. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, well, that one. Yeah. Uh, and finally, Cadbury's personalised vintage bar. I love chocolate so much. So um, yeah, it's just a vintage Cadbury's um, chocolate bar. You can you can um, write whatever you want on it. So personal message, name. And it just feels a bit more special. Mm. Obviously, everyone has chocolate at Christmas. So but, you need to get on with that. I'm worried about delivery yeah, on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Better get Maybe. quick. That's good though. Yeah. 
Uh, Laura, what's on your list? We've got Hay Candles, set of six. Oh, yeah, Twisted Candles. Oh, yeah, they're good. Just saying, I know you have candles too, but I love a scented candle. I love a pretty candle. Just give me a candle. I'll go down and put a candle. <laughs> I love a Twisted. Where, where so do you find pretty. these? so pretty. Hey, it's the brand, or edition 94. Yeah, I was going to say, they've got some really nice ones. Gosh, so I pretty. ordered some candles last night at Didn't about 1 a.m. This morning, actually not last night, so I looked puffy face is because I was working and going shopping until 1am. And um, I couldn't find any twisted ones. Oh, you can make them, you know that. I've ordered already somewhere yeah. else, damn it. <laughs> um, okay, make them now. I don't think so, when you have no, no time for that. You know how much Christmas shopping I've got to do. Fine. Um, Laura, Maxine, 500 piece, double-sided yeah. jigsaw puzzle. This actually, Lou gave me this tip off, but what a win. Love the puzzle, literally can't wait. Love Sherlock's, but I cannot wait for the Christmas break with no emails and oh. just to indulge in some puzzles. Um, Double sided? Yeah. Is that, is that doubly hard? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, Presumably, imagine so. Because you've got to work out which. Oh, 500 God. pieces, no, though, so a little bit bigger. Yeah, I'm there for it. I can't wait. I made that mistake in lockdown. I ain't going back there, <laughs> I tell you. Uh, and your final one. The big two oh. litre bottle. I mean, I should do their PR. Mm. I just think it is such a good gift. Oh, that yes. is why you are the best at your job, Laura. That's, <laughs> I've totally forgotten that that is like the best present. Yeah. And 14 I hope quid. my sister in not watching because nice. that's what she's going to yeah. be. <laughs> okay, well, my fave, my, my go tos are, I've got one of them with me. It's actually for me, but I think it's a really good gift. You know how I'm one of people who I don't need a really big, expensive gift. Well, it's nice, but. <laughs> I, it's just got to be a good gift. This is Fortnum's yeah. truffle honey. Heather, Ooh. I'm looking at you. This is 15 quid. Heather and I had great fun in Fortnum's the other we day. We did. We did. And this is... Fuck, it's good. <laughs> they say this really made me laugh when you put it there because, Georgie, every time we go through any gifting story, yeah. you should always go... Hmm. What about some honey? <laughs> I'm so bloody predictable it's because we've worked together for so long. Um, anyway, I think truffle honey is an excellent present, so especially nice. for Christmas. Just saying. Um, my next one is a reading light. Now, I I've talked about the reading lights quite a lot, <laughs> don't I? But they are brilliant presents. If you go to a children's birthday party and you want a present that's not really expensive, like I've got three children. The presents seriously add up to the party. Oh, God, I bet. These are, how much are they? £12, £7? Something like that, really reasonable. But they, you charge, they come with a charger and you just clip it on your book and my children read with them Aww. until really... Yeah, it's really a great idea. Right. Right. for the car, you know, Ooh. light on that. Smash I mean. vomiting down. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, they're a really, like for your mum or dad, one, one of you wants to read, and I think they're a really excellent present. That's so good. Santa. Oh. Uh, and my final one. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> it's not a sex toy. No. It's just a clear one. Uh, it's called Silly Sausage. Has anyone played this game? No. Do you want a demo? Go on yes. then. As okay, you ready? Silly Sausage. Not working. <laughs> Hang on. Poke me to start. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Come in. Shake me. <laughs> Fingers broken. <laughs> I think it's on a really slow. Okay. okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Like, pop it. Pop it. Just, yeah. Okay. Oh, you get the idea? Yeah. It's really fun. In, it, all right, enough of that. Right. Um, Just going to keep going. In off lockdown, yet. my stepmom and my sister, who are fully grown women, basically <laughs> spent hours playing this. I also got, I got about 152 or something. Uh, just saying and it's really affordable and you can get them on Amazon so that is my tip anyway, I'm getting a lot of time for <laughs> anyway hey we've inspired you with our Christmas shopping uh, let's talk about um, what made us laugh in 2020 Heather I'm going to start with you so it's been a year where we've need to laugh it's, right it has it has and it's been a, a year I think when more people than ever have been using TikTok and other things like Make us laugh. But no, mine is Train Guy, which is Bob Morthler. But I think I just find it extra funny just because I am a commuter and the whole <laughs> shtick is just him being a really obnoxious 
you're one of those guys just like, yeah, yeah, you know, like thrashing out business deals and just being <laughs> absolute pillocks. So Baffles me that when people are like that. I know. But, yeah. I, I, mean, see, I know. It's always men of a certain age. I hate to generalise, but it is. Men um, of a certain age with, with uh, brownie veneers. <laughs> 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 How white his teeth were. <laughs> but no, this, I love um, Vic and Bob anyway as a duo. So him just doing this on Twitter is basically sort of, when we were all commuting properly, even before lockdown, he was doing it and it just made my year go. It is it good. Just, it, I watched it last night and it made me chuckle. And yeah, he just comes up with ridiculous words. So it's just very surreal, but funny and very stupid. <laughs> and very apt if you're a commuter. And your exactly. other thing that's made you laugh this year, which I still haven't watched, I, I don't know if it's... I, know, almost, I think you... Honest, is it this country? This country was your watch pick. It. I know, but I, I sent three or four ideas. Oh. Honestly, watch it, Geordie, because it's one of those, like any of those comedies when they first come on when you're like what the hell is this and it takes you a couple of episodes to get used to the characters and then you think it's amazing really I promise it's so funny and warm and like makes you cry because it's so sad as well it's Aww. like it really has got everything they look like kevin and perry on the uh <laughs> on the they're, well yeah it, they're meant to be sort of you know misfits yeah, exactly. That's a Am good I allowed to say that? Don't know. Yeah, they're, they're, anyway, I yeah. Do. anyway, please watch it. It's very funny. It's only three series. I want. As well. I want to. I do want to watch it. Once I've watched Industry, then I'll. Yes, that's watch also it. very good. That's on my list. Uh, Laura, I feel like we need to save yours last. Okay, let's save this till yeah. the end. I'm so um, intrigued. <laughs> Winnie, what's made you laugh this year? Um, Jason, what was his name again? I forget his name. Jordan Firstman. Jordan Firstman, so funny on Instagram. So obviously <laughs> drawing. It's just the most funny thing. During lockdown, he basically pretended to be um, Banana Bread's publicist. So it's just really hilarious. He just gets a call. He's like, we've just fucking owned this year. This is amazing. <laughs> it was just, oh, it just made me lol. And it made me laugh too. Yeah, very, really it funny. It was good. It was so good. good. Uh, well, mine is, is less basic, maybe, should I say. Don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> um, but mine is, I've, we talked a bit about Anushka Dukas, who is the founder. She was the founder of Links of London which she very successfully sold and she now has a jewelry business um called Anushka Jewelry which is amazing if you have lots of money to spend on beautiful jewelry uh, she started a podcast called seven my life in seven charms she interviewed Alexandra Shulman Karen Issa. she also interviewed Lady Anne Glenn Kinner who was Princess Margaret's lady in waiting one of the funniest things I've seen this year is Lady Anne Glenn Kinner on Graham Norton oh, yeah. <laughs> was it this year it was yeah talking about her wedding night, um, on which her husband, who she hated and often thought about killing, as she said <laughs> on, on the podcast. Uh, he also owned Mustique, so maybe she decided it'd be better not to kill him. <laughs> since it's quite nice but um, when, on, on their wedding night, he took her to watch another couple have sex. Um, anyway, I think wow. that was the start wow. of the end. Anyway, I think they did stay married. I mean, she, on this podcast, is hilarious. She's a real aristocrat. They bought an elephant one day because he just felt like only one. I mean, they, they're sort of, it's nuts. It's another world. They grew up with the royal family and she became Princess Margaret's lady in waiting. Anyway, it's I'm a brilliant listen. listen. And she really is just hilarious. She's just, whatever age, she doesn't care. She's going to say whatever she likes and she's loving life. And it is an absolute treat. Laura, we're going to finish with you. It's Tika the Iggy. <laughs> It's just so good. I think it just needs to play. I don't know that there's much to say, but it's just so good. Here we go. I had so many cute outfits planned for this year that I couldn't wear. So I just wanted to show you. See this? I love it. I couldn't wear it. Love it. Couldn't wear it. Then there's this. Love it. Couldn't wear it. Love it. Couldn't wear it. And this was supposed to be my cute costume, but no. Oh, it's so good. It's so love good. it, couldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> love it, couldn't work. But it's no, that no, voice no. again. It's, it's, yes, it's one other. It. Go onto TikTok and search Tika. What is it? Tika the Iggy. Tika the Iggy, yeah. And there's another one where Tika's wearing something with, an, or something orange <laughs> with pom poms. And they're like, everything's designer. I don't want to show it anyway. It's really, it is really it good. Is really good. Nice, good. light hearted yes. humor. Yeah. Uh, that's it, ladies. Thank you so much. Now, we might not be going out this Christmas season, but I'm going to still be making an effort. I don't know about you. Next, Laura and I are joined by Sherlock's fashion assistant, Polly Sayer, with an edit of really good tops. But first, we've got Heather's December hot list. Hello, I'm Heather and I'm lifestyle editor at Sherlux, and this is my December hot list. 
I'm a massive Wes Anderson fan and I love the uh, Instagram account that's called Accidentally Wes Anderson. I think it's got well over a million followers now, but it basically looks at loads of different views and places around the world that kind of have that pastel aesthetic that Wes Anderson's films have but it's just loads and loads of amazing photos of beautiful places all around the world, of buildings and locations and scenery, all with that sort of Anderson-esque colour palette. And I just think if you've got any film friends or anybody who loves those sorts of films, I think this would be a really awesome Christmas present. And I also just think it's a very pretty coffee table book that you could buy for yourself. And then there's a film that I'm really excited about. It comes out on Netflix later this week and it's Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. So I saw it, it was basically a play that came out in the 80s and I saw it at the National Theatre a couple of years ago and it's one of the best things I've ever seen on stage. So I'm so excited about this film. It's uh, Chadwick Boseman's final performance in a film and it's got Viola Davis and it's basically about a blues singer in the 20s called Ma Rainey. And they're in this recording studio and it's basically all set in the same space with the tensions rising on this really, really hot summer day when Ma and her band are trying to record a hit single. And I'm just really excited. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. And if you love music of any kind, I think it's just going to be a great film to watch this December. It's Christmas, so I obviously had to pick something festive, and I've opted for Fortnum & Mason's Merilossus Biscuits, which are basically the best biscuits ever, and I'm not even a big biscuit fan. They're essentially Christmas pudding flavours in a chocolate biscuit, and they come in this really, really lovely tin, but they're basically milk chocolate coated biscuits with fruit, almonds and spices, and I promise you, if you got these for anybody for Christmas or even just took them round as a present, they'd go down an absolute treat because they're huge, thick, chocolatey things and they're absolutely delicious. So like many restaurants around the UK, because of coronavirus, you know, Sketch has had to branch out and do something new. And yeah, this month they have launched some bottled cocktails and obviously a bit similar to the Wes Anderson stuff. They've gone for their classic pink and they've even gone through the trouble of doing a wax seal on top of their cocktails. Um, so this one is their take on a margarita. So it's uh, tequila, Cointreau, lemongrass and ginger. So it's got that sort of twist on the classic margarita and yeah if you look at their range online they've got loads of different cocktails and they've got an at-home box and it all comes in this really pretty pink branding that you'd come to expect from the pink restaurant itself that's filled with David Trigley pictures so yeah if you're looking to try something new and can't be bothered to make your own cocktails these sketch ones are definitely ones to give a go So, like everyone, love a Christmas candle, but this one is by Boy Smells, which is an LA-based brand. And yeah, they've done a collection of sort of wintry autumnal candles. And this one is a sort of Japanese take, which obviously, it, honestly, it smells amazing. It kind of really appeals to me. That's what I love, Japan and you know everything to do with it. So this one is called the Hinoki Phantom, and. I wish you could smell it. It's basically just really, really smoky and piney and foresty. And yeah, it comes in this lovely green and gold uh, reusable uh, glass shell, I suppose you call it. And yes, yeah, so I think if anyone received this in their stocking, they'd be a very, very happy person. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, join me again in January where I'll no doubt have more book, film and food recommendations for you. Welcome back, Laura. Welcome, Polly. Hi. So I remember what I said. I might not be going out. I might be staying in. But I will still be getting dressed up on more than one occasion between Christmas and yeah. New Year because it's too bloody depressing <laughs> not to. Um, we've got a brilliant haul of tops here to get you in the mood. Put your Michael Bublé on. Have a glass of champagne in front of the Christmas tree and a dance around. That's what I'll be doing anyway. <laughs> um, Laura, what have we got first? Oh. H&M. H &M. Love this. Yeah, Gorgeous. So, so pretty, right, that over to you, Polly. Over to you, Polly. Cool. Laura, will you be dressing up this Christmas? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I'd like to think so, but I don't know. Do you think you'll be more of a knit and a sparky Yeah, probably. Kind of yeah, a dress and some boots. Nothing too tight. Okay, how are you doing, Polly? It's quite revealing. It's quite revealing, but... 
I like that, you know. I think with a cami underneath, I love these shoulders. I also think it looks just so much better on than yeah. on a hanger. Yeah, I totally agree. Maybe, yeah. Maybe not one for the extended family. But yeah, not for granny. Not for I granny, think that's but... a easy top. Anyway, I yeah. love that. I love those sleeves. Yeah. Uh, and it's 15 quid at H&M. Amazing. Okay, next we've got a metallic thread body. This is from Mango. Love that. Um, cool. Do you want to get changing, Polly? Yeah, yeah, sure. And this is £20.99. Another really? steal. Yeah, it's kind of got flock detailing. It's so pretty. I like a body. Mm. Okay, you ready? Next one. We have quite a deep Ooh! She has got a microphone. Yeah, I'm sorry, to her everyone. chest. I love that. Yeah. Because it's kind of sexy. It's sexy, but not tight. It's not kind of sexy, but not tight. It is sexy, but not tight. <laughs> mm, yeah. I really love that. Just the right amount of revealing, I think, for me. It's got the arms covered up. It's nice mm. and sort of velvety, isn't it? It's almost like an animal print. Yeah, would you say? I'm just saying that looks really expensive. Yeah, it yeah. does, doesn't it? 20 quid. It looks quite kind of marge, doesn't mm. it? Love that, Polly. Yeah, that cool. That looks cool. Thanks. Okay, what's next? We've got a sequin blouse, another another manga. Oh, hello. So, so cool. It's got Alrighty. New Z vibes. Yes, definitely. I love a silver sequin on some nude sort of net. Okay, yeah. You know I mean? I Just like that. Just like that. I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm excited <laughs> for this one. All right. How's she doing? So jazzy. Oh, so cool. Isn't it fun? Love that. I do love a se silver sequin on a bit of yeah, I think really nice as well on skin at this time of year when we're all feeling a bit like, meh. Yeah. So it yeah. really lifts it you up. It feel a bit like brighter, doesn't yeah. it? Reflecting that light. And I love it. Yeah, it does. It's got a bit of a like shoulder pad Ooh, as well, it. which I'm Ooh, yeah. a big fan of. I think it makes it feel a bit cooler, doesn't it? Really love cool. That. Yeah. Oh, you look great. You Thank look great. You. Okay, there's another mango sequin top to come. Mm. This is a Frankie Shop inspired yeah. shoulder padded. Yeah, tank. cool. I'm actually wearing my white t shirt version today, so it'd be nice to try this. Go, go, go. I'm excited for this one. So this is three tots from Mango. So Mango are, are doing a good job this year Filling it. for affordable party tops that you're not going to wear out. So maybe don't spend too much money on <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Here we go. Holly. Oh, I love cool. it. Yeah. Mm. Can't really, like, I haven't got a mirror back there, but I do feel quite cool in it. Yeah, I think that's You super look cool, cool in it. Yeah. yeah. I kind of got MJ vibes. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, I just MJ. love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, yeah I'm like, oh. Kind of visit it in my oh, head, I think that's but yeah, awesome. it's cool. Love the shoulder pad again. Yeah, oh, I still, I, I like that because I feel like we've seen the copies of the tees. Yeah, and obviously that's different because it's sequins. Yeah, and I think it's just something a little bit more relaxed, isn't it? Obviously, sequins are quite out there, but if you want something a bit more understated, laid back, this is a great option, this isn't is it? Cool. That's just cold arms. I've got quite cold arms today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. looks great. Right next, we have got we've got self portrait. I mean. <gasps> This is, I am so excited to see this on you, yeah. Polly, because I've seen it everywhere. So go, Oof, go, go. So excited. Um, I've seen it loads. They did a top not dissimilar a few years ago that I wore to our Christmas party. I remember. remember. Love it. Um, Absolutely love that top. It's a one shoulder and this is this is a kind of 2020 version. Yeah. Anyway, I'm excited to see it. Da, da, da. Oh, Here we go. Oh, 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 I do love it. Love that. Oh, so, so nice. It's something so... So kind of sexy and dressed up about a bardo neckline. I absolutely love it. Me yeah, too. But it's kind of grown up as well. I don't yeah. know. I think it's very cool. Yeah. Do you want to wear it to the top of your wedding dress? Oh, oh look at <laughs> um, I mean, you can't you can't feel too shit about life in that top, can you? I definitely no. don't feel shit about life. No. In that <laughs> <laughs> you are ready to go. So the fact that we're in tier three, you're in some sparkles. Uh, love it. That was two hundred and sixty pounds. Really lovely buttons yeah, I was just on the sleeve. Say, that's such a lovely detail, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, cool. pounds for. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's, that's a great, great top. Okay, we've got a Reese top next. Ooh. I'm actually quite excited about this yeah, one. Yeah, I'm quite intrigued by different. this one. Yeah. Is it wool? Yeah. yeah, and it feels quite thick. Again, okay. love a kind of bodice like that. Yeah, cool. Me too. Cool. You might need a blazer on top of something like that, I feel. But anyway, let's Or see. over the top of a shirt. Could be quite cool. Ready when you are. Okay. Oh, very chic. Yeah, yeah. Love that. Can I feel? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so it's it's not wool. It's sort of sweatshirty. Yeah, almost, it's, isn't it? It's different, but I like it. Again, yeah, it would look really cool over a t-shirt if you don't want to bare your shoulders yeah. or the blazer. Oh, I do. I want to bare my shoulders. Yeah, yeah I'm quite I like bearing great. the shoulders, but yeah, it's so. It's just also, so simple, so you can wear big earrings and yeah, 
Mm. Exactly. Go for it. Love, and I love the little peplum waist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's cute. Just simple but pretty. Very cool. It? It's got Kate vibes, hasn't it? it? Certainly does. Great one. Okay, next we have got. I feel like this is your brand of 2020, Polly. I don't know why. I mean, yes. It I kind can't of is. think of Sister Jane without thinking of you. Yeah. Amazing well, think, black top. Yeah, Charlotte and I kind of. I mean, we knew about them, but we really kind of discovered them properly recently and we we're just like oh my god their tops and their dresses are just so yeah. incredible and a great price point so yeah let's try that on okay go so this the next one coming up is 135 pounds they are a good price point really cool and quite exaggerated yeah Ooh. this is cool <laughs> I love it. I, I love, love it. it. I love it. Yeah. I love it, but I cannot wear it. Is it going anyway? I love it. It's kind of like a Christmas decoration, but in the best you are, yeah. like, like your tinsel, your walking tinsel, or bubbles, so or bubbles. Yeah, I feel very, very festive. Very yeah. Well. Oh, it's fabulous, darling. Yeah. As Craig Rubble Horwood would say, <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> okay, love it. Okay, what have we got next? Is it, we're not going to top that next, are we? We're going a bit more low key. Yeah. You're good. This is you're good in something like this. Mm. This is stories. Sixty nine pounds. Yeah. Gorgeous. I think it'll look great on Polly. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I feel like I've seen you in something like that before. I feel like I have worn something like this, maybe the black version, but I really like the white. Yeah. It's yeah. very chic. Yeah. I feel like you need like a little pearl bag, yeah. like a little yes. pearl party bag. A bit of gold jewelry or something. It's just, I love the sleeves. I like an elongated sleeve like this and the ruching is just really pretty, quite understated, but it's nice. Yeah, I like really it. Really nice. I think uh, for being at home, if you want to be covered up, I mm. think, yeah. I yeah. love that. It looks fab when you're on your wood. Right. All right, next, our penultimate top is... I mean, we're going for it Whee! here. Woo! This is the smallest top I've seen in a while. Yeah. Uh, this is a feather top from Utica. Cool. Yeah, looking forward to giving go, it a go, one go, go, sister, <laughs> in that one. Um, this is £155, which I feel like it's quite expensive from Utica. Yeah. For something so small. Yeah, there's not much to it. Ooh, another Woo! <laughs> Very jazzy, oh, isn't it? Jazzy, jazzy. Oh, really? <laughs> so fun. I mean, this is just too much singing. Yeah. I'm going the whole rail, except you're a bit younger than me. Um, geez. So, so fun. I mean, it's it's a good sort of New Year's Eve top as well, I think, isn't oh, it? I feel like you kind of need to but... shimmy your shoulders or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I should have <laughs> saved my Craig Rebel Hallwood. Yeah. Fabulous. You know, my fabulous, because that is, that is what that is. Super fun, it isn't is it? It is extra. I yeah. love it. Extra, but fabulous. Oh, sorry. It's you want to film it? But I, love, I really yeah, love it. Cool. I really love that. You are perfect. You are a walking ostrich. Anyway, Great. Um, excellent. We've got one left. I wonder if we're going to top this with the next one. I think we could. One. I think we could. I'm excited for this. Yeah. This is That was my the favorite. first one my eye was drawn mm. to, but I haven't yeah. seen that on you. Anyway, this is self portrait again. Just so amazing, isn't I it? I love that bit of nude yeah. behind yeah. the mesh. I love how long the sleeves are. I know. Can't wait to try it on. Little velvet dots. Very cool. Oh, Polly! Love it. Oh, it's a good one, right? It's isn't it? pretty. It's amazing. Pretty. I mean, these sleeves are something else, it aren't they? It is amazing. Just everything about it. Every detail oh, I'm obsessed with. I, I think feel I like need I need it. it. Yeah. I think we all need it. It's so good. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think I'd pick that one. Oh, Interesting. I th I think. It's it's the feathers for me, Ooh. or maybe yeah. I feel like you could do the feathers. Yes, or your sister Jane. Interesting. Yeah, yeah I really like going. it. But anyway, it's good we don't all do anything. Do we? What we do agree on is that you look fabulous mm. in every <laughs> single top. What's your Thank favorite? You. This one has to is be it? my favorite. I just love it. I saw it on the website and I was like, God, that's good. Yeah, it's so yeah. good. It's amazing. great. No, no. no. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you, thank you, Polly, thank you. for doing that for us. Um, what a great haul. I don't know about you, but I am, I am honestly ordering um, now. In a minute, Heather and I will be back with wine expert Alicia Hansel, who is here with her top picks for supermarket wine and champagne for the festive season. But first, if you want some more fashion inspo, check out what the fashion team are wearing on Christmas Day. <laughs> One of the questions we get asked most at this time of year is what to wear for Christmas Day. So we thought we'd make it easy by showing you what we're gonna be wearing. And from the cozy to the glamorous, there's a little bit of everything between the three of us. So Lou, let's start with you. What is your Christmas Day look? So normally every year I wear the same black velvet dress with a Peter Pan collar from Cos, but this year I'm gonna switch it up. And I saw this jumper from Iris Link on the outlet and I just, 
love it. I love a fair aisle knit and I think often Christmas jumpers can look a little bit cheap and not that chic and then I thought I'd just style it with a little collar just to make it, make it me. And then leather trousers, I think just again keep it a bit more grown up um, and some heel boots. And then after Christmas dinner, when I want to feel comfy <laughs> and lounge around the sofa, then I've got a pair of knitted joggers to change into, which just look so cosy, comfortable, but also chic. Uh, Polly, talk about this fabulous top. I mean, I've got so many things to say about this top. For me, Christmas Day is kind of about wearing the things that maybe feel a little bit extra at other points of the year. And especially this year, we've not really had any opportunities to go out. So I will be wearing something quite extra like this top from Sister Jane who have some amazing pieces. Amazing. Like, like, amazing. amazing. Incredible yeah. and surprisingly affordable. They look like they're so expensive. Um, but also Christmas Day is for me also about being comfortable and um, I will be wearing something elasticated on the waist <laughs> to allow for competitive eating. So I've got these lovely silk pyjama bottoms from Asino, who are one of my favorite uh, pyjama brands that feel nice enough to wear kind of as an outfit, not just to go to bed in. So, and then just completed the look with a pair of velvet smoking slippers, which are from Zara. I love those. Really I'm going to nice. add them to my Christmas list. Yeah, well. absolutely. I think, I think such a good pair. And I love the burgundy and the pink together. All about a jazzy flat. Love that. Yeah, love that. And what about you? Well, I make no secret of the fact that I like to use satin or silk pyjamas is a bit of a hack for kind of feeling pulled together, looking good, but actually secretly being really comfortable. So this pair, this special pair is from Olivia Von Hal, um, who is the queen yeah. of silk pyjamas. And I'm just obsessed with this burnt cinnamon color. So um, I just always feel so glamorous um, and so kind of instantly cool in a top to toe look, especially when there's a bold print like this. Um, but yeah, so comfy. And I have added a pair of heels. They'll probably be swapped out for some cashmere socks or a pair of slippers as the day goes on. But you know, start, start smart. Love. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously we will link everything that we're wearing in the notes below. And that's it from the Shillax fashion team for 2020. So we will see you in the new year and have a very Merry Christmas. Welcome back. Now I'm joined by wine writer and expert, Alicia Hansel, who is here with a wonderful, I hope a wonderful selection of supermarket wines and beers. I'm very excited for this, aren't we, Heather? Good. We are best show of the year. Good. You know, good way to end the show, exactly. right? I know, I feel like I'm always everyone's best friend yeah, when I come very <laughs> good. Forget gold, frankincense and myrrh, I've got those. Quite, quite, <laughs> you the words out of my mouth. Right, we're going to start with white wine. Yes. We've got three whites, three, re three reds and three bubbles. Um, we're going to start with the white. Yeah. Uh, we've got a Val dos Pombos. Yes, so this is a Vina Verde, okay, oh, um, which basically means green wine and it's from North Portugal. Um, and this one is a great example for anyone that wants something a little bit lower in alcohol, so it's only 9.5%. And, and it, it has it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's quite light and, and fresh. Um, and it's also got a little bit of effervescence, a little bit of fizz. So I think this is a great wine for betwixtmas. You know that bit where it's like, I, I do. don't know what to do. Betwixtmas. We've My maybe indulged like, a bit too much. Does he say it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so it's a lower alcohol, it's six pounds. Yes, from co-op, absolutely. Oh, I've got a co-op near me and love Vino Verde. So I hope this is. Uh, I hope it's, yeah. Do you? Yeah. Uh, to me, that looks like a very summery wine. What would you eat this with? Well, drink it, drink it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had any yet. Well, obviously, because it's quite low, you could have it by yourself. But I think salad, seafood, if you're trying to kind of be good in that betwixtmas time after you've indulged, I think just having something light and refreshing is, mm. is great with that. Okay, let's go. So have a little sniff. So you can see there's like this slight little effervescence in there. Mm. That's lovely. Mm. It's quite different because that's the little spritz, but it's, you know, that kind of citrusy. I like the spritz. Yeah. Lime, lemon. Yes. Yeah, it's nice. It's not too sweet either. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I really like that. Good. Alicia. <laughs> mm. It's quite briefy for me, but I really like it. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> okay. Mm. We've now got to tip it away. This is a real mm. thing. I know. Got so it. it's going in the bowl. Bowl. Yeah, um, exactly. Okay. Wine. White wine number two. So uh, let's go on is, to. I've got a Morrison's Chardonnay oh, down. Perfect. So this is uh, Warwick Capeland, so it's from South Africa. And it's called uh, Cape Lady because the farm that it's from originally, back in the day, uh, was a fruit farm. And then someone, um, a couple bought it and the Lady Norma uh, became one of the first 
female winemakers of the region. So it's kind of Cape ladies or, you know, a little bit I of a say, thing to I, have. I love the branding, the label. It's very chic, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Good, good colours. And it's £8.75. Yes. Hit me yes, up, exactly. Alicia. I love a Chardonnay. So and Morrison's. Ooh. And then you've got a groom about it. I do. Oh, you know, I'm glad you know what that is. Good. <laughs> I, feel I, like, I feel like it's uh, one of those things that if people try, they'll remember and they'll love. But yes. Thank you. Um, so I think this is a really good wine that's in between, you know, Chablis very crisp and clean and austere almost. And then you've got that Australian or American kind of really buttery. I love. This is a very good in-between. So yes. it's South good African for... Chardonnay is a bit in-between. Exactly. It's not quite as knock you in the face. Yeah, but, absolutely. Um, it's not quite as yellow yeah. as the often are. So it has been spent some time in oak, so that does mm. give you a little bit of those kind of, you know, toasty oak notes. Delicious. It's a little bit fuller, a little bit riper. Absolutely excellent with poultry. Mm. So the turkey, turkey nice. roast chicken, anything <laughs> like that really would be good. amazing. That's lovely. That's really good. Mm. I think if you don't like Chardonnay, which always upsets me when people say they don't like Chardonnay, <laughs> no, no. Like, have you tried really good Chardonnay? <laughs> and then they order a Sauvignon Blanc, and I'm like, oh my God, it's all over. <laughs> we are no longer friends. But... Um, that's a good in between if you it think is. you'll. Yeah, yeah, I that's think that's really so. good. Fan of that, really, and I've also got Morrison's near me, so I'm winning so far. There we the go. Market. I've got two out of two so far. So yeah, yeah. I, I, that's, I take that over the Dos Pombos. Okay, yes. Yeah. Well, that's um, the great thing, you know, about what's that? Vino 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 exactly. Um, we've got a green event in there. We do. So it actually means little green grape from the town of Vetlina or Vetlin, which is in North uh, Italy, although it's actually an indigenous grape to Austria. I was going to say, my mother yeah. was Austrian. And, yeah. Yeah. I don't know where that came from. That was just some weird thing, but yeah. Mm. Um, but this one actually comes from Marlborough, which you may know more for Sauvignon Blanc. So it is um, New Zealand. <laughs> Georgia is concerned now. You look you concerned. Now no, 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 I've said Sophie on blog. This is 9 dollars yes, at Waitrose. It is. Currently down £3.99. Oh, and I this. love a Riesling as well. Ooh, I always say too. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So I think that's a really excellent one if you like. If you I'm do like Sauvignon or Riesling or um, Pickpool, I think this is a great alternative. It's a really to nice colour. It's not like your classic Green Event Liner, is it? No, I mean, obviously, it's from a different, slightly different area, so it, that brings different mm. things to it. But I think this is an excellent one with um, turkey curry because it's got a little bit more of that. Turkey curry. Yeah, excellent. you know, Boxing Day, yeah. turkey curry. That's my pick of the three, is I it think. Good? It's really is it? Nice. Yeah. Oh, I think, oh. So it's, uh, you know, again, that kind of, I know really um, yeah, one of the right main things about Gruner that people say it's got a little bit of a white pepper character. So. I like a pick pull. Yes. I think yes. I've said it before, but I always think that's a, if you're looking for an affordable wine and there's a pick pull, they're normally quite safe. Aren't yeah, they? absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. Right. We're on to the red. We are. So, I mean, it's Christmas. It's a red time of year, isn't it? It is, absolutely. So, we're so. going to start off with another South African. Um, and this is a Cinso. So, it's Vincent. very unusual that you would see that just by itself as a grape, uh, as a you know wine. It is the grape that's used in a lot of blends in the south of France and um, in Provence rosés. Oh. So you will see when I pour it out. It's it six nice pounds. Color. Six pounds. You are spoiling us, I'm Anisha. <laughs> Only the best for my Sheerlux girl. <laughs> yeah. um, so as you see when I pour it out, it's actually quite a light red. Um, so. Hang on. That's your glass, I think. <laughs> well, we haven't tasted out of it yet, so it's fine. <laughs> well, thanks. This, so, is true. this is true. So this is more red fruits. Mm. It looks very light. People, yeah, if you prefer, I've tried to go for a range, so if you prefer them a bit heavier in different fruit flavors. So this is for someone who prefers a little bit more red, a little bit lighter. That's a bottle, isn't it? A little bit of smokiness in there. Oh, that's good. That is very good. Oh, that's Ooh, good. Oh, you weren't expecting <laughs> that. <laughs> Oh, that is a red I could very happy. It's very oh, quackable. I, I hate yeah. that term sometimes, but it, it does it what is. it does. I get there. quite, I, I get a bit redded out. I do. Oh, no, I like a red one. Do you? Yes. That's, That's really, really good. good. It's nice and light. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think it's an excellent choice for people who, again, that betwixtmas bit, I think, mm. maybe, when yeah. you're just trying to think, oh, let's not. Or just like a woman on Christmas Day or doesn't anything. want really, yeah, like, exactly. blow the doors off. Yeah. Make you want to go to sleep all day. <laughs> Good point. Absolutely. No, no, that's, it's that's a shame good. to chuck that bit away. Know, but... Isn't it? 
that's delicious. Well, tie dye. We don't know what will happen to the bottles after I've left. Well, <laughs> right. um, okay, next we've got a Waitrose Morellino Descansano. Look, my I'm Italian, <laughs> my Italian is not great, so I apologise to any Italians or, in fact, any French or anyone that I uh, <laughs> am insulting with my accent. But yes, so this is a Sangiovese based um, wine. So Sangiovese actually comes from the Latin, which means the blood of Jupiter. Mm -hmm. um, and you might remember Sangiovese as being the key grape in Chianti. Mm -hmm. That's what I was so I know people have a bit of a mm, love-hate relationship with Chianti because they remember it back from when it was in the bowls and it was, mm -hmm. you know, it became, it was a victim of its own success really because it kind of ended up being really rubbish stuff. But they've come back with a vengeance, um, you know, Tuscany and Sangiovese in Tuscany is excellent. And this particular wine is a DOCG, which means it's like the best of the best. Oh, really? Um, so it's 9.99? It is. I know. Happy days. Absolutely. To me, this smells like a red wine should smell. Yeah. The other one smelt, um, the Sinsanso, Sinso smelt lighter. This mm. smells like a classic red. And like with, you know, most Italian reds, it will be high in acidity. So maybe straight off the bat in the morning, not <laughs> the easiest thing to drink, but with food, mm, good. an absolutely excellent mm. wine. That's so let it dead. air. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yes, and just to eat it with something. It's definitely a food oh, okay. wine. Mm. It's okay. definitely a food wine. Yeah. I feel like that's quite a man's I wine. Think that's I got think my dad's husband's name yeah. all over it, which is great. I can, yeah, <laughs> great. some for him next time I see him. Well, 9 99 at Waitrose. Yeah. Thanks very much. <laughs> and it looks quite fancy, I think. Doesn't yeah, it? It looks does. like you spent yeah. a bit more, yeah, that's true, that's a bit more money on that. <laughs> <laughs> just don't let him watch the show, Heather. I was going to say, um, my mum will report back having watched it. <laughs> uh, finally, on the red, I'm, uh, this one, Xanadu Can Sav. Cab Sav. Yes, Xanadu, exactly. So um, this is from Western Australia, Margaret River. So it's just down the south of Perth. And um, Margaret River actually is um, the most maritime climate of all of the major wine growing regions in Australia. So that basically just means it's got a big influence of the sea. And in essence, it actually means it's got a very, very similar climate to Bordeaux. So it makes sense, therefore, that they have grown Bordeaux grapes there, of which Cab Sav is one of the main ones. The other one, probably, you would know is Merlot. And does that mean it's a bit cheaper because they're not, they don't have the Bordeaux name on them or not? Yeah, I mean, if you think of the quality, so this is £12 and the quality you get for this in comparison to what you'd get for £12 in Bordeaux absolutely blows it sure. out of the water. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Exciting. <laughs> OK. So this, this is, is a lot a darker. This is more black fruit now. Um, rather oh. than the red fruits we had before. That looks really rich and indulgent. <laughs> it does. What would you eat this with, with turkey? You would. So when it comes to turkey, I think if you're someone that packs on the sauces, so if you're a big like gravy sm uh, smotherer or red cranberry, cabbage. exactly, mm. then, they, then it would go. So yeah, that's for someone who really likes to pile on the, uh, the sauces, which I do. Yeah. Wow. That is, that's tastes like a serious red. It doesn't does, it? doesn't it? And I think, you know, Australia obviously um, has a reputation of really big, powerful wines, and this is, but because of that cooling influence from the sea, it's got a little bit of, it's not so in your face. There is a it's nice fruity. Tight, I feel like it's oh. quite fruity. Yeah, there's, oh. a, there's a nice bit of acidity that lifts mm. it, so mm. it doesn't make it seem... So I have to say, my fave was the seven pounds. Six pounds. Six currently. pounds. The red snapper. Thanks very much. There you go. <laughs> uh, all about the bargains today. Right, we're going to finish on bubbles. You know, it, someone's got to do it, haven't they? <laughs> it's a hard life. Absolutely. Um, we've got three like really affordable. Um, are they all champagnes? So one's a champagne. The okay. others are the same. Okay. Um, grapes. So we've got a. A Jan's Cuvée, yeah. which is $14.99. $14.39 at the oh, moment on nice. offer. Right. Slightly weird else. price, but yes. Yeah. So this is um, Jantz, and it's from Tasmania, oh. which you might not think of a place, Got but a it's made in exactly the same way as Champagne, with the same grapes, um, and they call it Method Tasmanoise. I'm sorry, again, <laughs> French is not my strong point. Um, and actually, when Jantz set up, uh, it was actually set up with um, Louis Roderer. Mm. 
Um, they no longer own it. It's now a, a family-run business. But originally, it's got some, it's got some gravitas. It, exactly, the it. original, you know, vineyards and grapes and and everything that was oh, put in. That smells good. Was Louis Rodero. Mm -hmm. So you know, good lineage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Not too dry. No, exactly. It's, I mean, when it comes to champagnes, unless it says, um, you know, uh, brut de, like zero brut or, or something, no, there will know. be some dosage in there. So it will say brut natural. Um, but I think there is, a, there is a teeny bit, but it's not off dry. It's just a nice little bit mm, of sugar. It's very too. nice. It's very nice. Yeah, that. Mm, yeah. Cool. 15 quid. Yes, please. I mean, this is criminal what we're doing here. <laughs> it's like making potions when you're eight. It is, isn't it? Okay. Uh, okay, next we've got something from the co-op. This is the champagne. Yes. So this is from co-op. Le Pioneers. Right. That's not how you say it again, but um, so this is... Who cares? I'm butchering the language. <laughs> Fill us up, Alicia. I'm so sorry. Um, so this is actually named after co-op founders who were the Rochdale Pioneers. And um, they essentially were trying to make sure that people had quality, affordable food um, available. Yes, more. exactly. It's an interesting story, isn't it? Yeah. So again, this is made... This is, is this is actually champagne. So the only difference it looks between smart, these, I think. It does doesn't it, yeah. is that it comes from the Champagne region in France. So that's why it is called mm. um, champagne, <laughs> and it is a blend of all three champagne grapes. So that is uh, Pinot Meunier, Chardonnay, and Pinot Noir. That's delicious. Mm. It's good, isn't it? And I mean, honestly, I, I know need some smoked salmon on a <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I think for a sub twenty pounds, you know, yeah. actual champagne that it says it on the label. I don't know if you can get better. I think it's absolutely. Do you know I'm just not going to refuse to do it that way? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, Alicia. So I'm going to get my white glass and save that for after the show because I, I can't throw champagne in a bucket of something. I'm just going to say it was quite good. Um, okay, so we're going to finish on M and S. Yes. This is not a champagne. No, but again, made in exactly the same way with exactly the same grapes. Just this not time, in champagne. Exactly. This okay. one again is in South Africa and they call it um, Cape Classic. Slightly easier for me to say. Um, and Graham Beck is the guy who started it and his wife was named uh, Rona. Oh. So I just think. I love that branding. Where's my wine that's named after me to yeah. my partner? I, so I haven't got one yet. Well. Now to work. <laughs> yes. um, okay. So this is uh, again the same grapes, and it's twelve pounds, which I just think is a. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. I mean, wow, that's price. cheaper than most sort of proseccos I, yeah, you find in the exactly. corner shop. Oh, I didn't. Look, I got awful. so excited I didn't pull myself a glass. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Mm. And good. Um, good. the cellar master of uh, Graham Beck actually did vintages in Mum and um, Moet. Ah, yeah. Moet with a T. You know your wine, don't you? I do. <laughs> and, and really badly kept secret, the co-op one uh, actually is made by Piper Heidsek. Oh. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. All the tips. I know. All the tips. I think that's very good. And actually, I really, really am not a big fan of Prosecco unless it's very, very good, in which case I think you might as well buy champagne. Um, and I think that's really good. Yeah, really the good. The 12 pounds, exactly. But yeah. for me, I mean, I'm sorry to be a cliche. You're, you just like the name <laughs> It's of all the about the champagne, what can you? I say? Um, Alicia, thank you so thank much. You. Thank I'm you. I'm off to buy myself some of that, <laughs> some of that, and some of that. Good. Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you to the panel. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Polly. Oh, end of the year, Miss. We're quite emotional. Thank you for all your support in 2020. I can't tell you how much we appreciate it from us all at Shilux. Um, we wish you a happy Christmas. I hope you can celebrate with your family somehow. Let's keep our fingers crossed for 2021. Um, have a wonderful break. Um, please leave us a comment, a thumbs up, subscribe. Hopefully the sound's better today and we will leave it there. Bye-bye.